Little Red Riding Hood. Today we have a book named Little Red Riding Hood Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the heart of a dense forest, lived a sweet little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She earned her name from the red hooded cloak her dear grandmother had lovingly made for her. Little Red loved to visit her grandmother, who lived on the other side of the woods. One sunny morning, her mother packed a basket filled with freshly baked goodies and a jar of honey to take to her grandmother. Be careful, my dear, her mother warned. Stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. Little Red promised to follow her mother's instructions and set off on her journey with a skip in her step. She hummed a merry tune as she walked along the winding path through the enchanted forest. Unbeknownst to Little Red, a cunning wolf had been watching her from the shadows. The wolf wanted the delicious treats she carried and hatched a plan to trick her. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf said, pretending to be friendly. Where are you off to with such a lovely basket? Oh, good morning, Mr. Wolf, Little Red replied politely. I'm going to visit my grandmother. She's not feeling well, and I'm taking her some goodies to make her feel better. The wolf's eyes gleamed with mischief. Such a kind gesture, my dear. But don't you think it would be a good idea to pick some flowers for your grandmother from the meadow over there? I'm sure she would appreciate it. Little Red thought it was a thoughtful idea and ventured into the meadow to pick some flowers. The wolf seized the opportunity and quickly ran to her grandmother's cottage, hoping to get there before her. Arriving at the cottage, the wolf found the grandmother resting in bed. He quickly locked her in the closet and put on her nightcap and glasses, pretending to be her. Meanwhile, Little Red finished picking flowers and arrived at her grandmother's cottage. Knocking on the door, she called out, Grandma, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. I've brought you some treats. The wolf replied in a disguised voice, Come in, my dear. As Little Red entered the cottage, she noticed that her grandmother looked different. Grandma, what big eyes you have, she said, growing suspicious. The better to see you with, my dear, the wolf replied, trying to sound like the grandmother. Little Red noticed other changes, too. Grandma, what big ears you have, she said. The better to hear you with, my dear, the wolf replied, trying to hide his excitement. Finally, Little Red noticed the sharp teeth. Grandma, what big teeth you have, she said now certain that something was wrong. The better to eat you with, the wolf exclaimed, throwing off the disguise and revealing his true self. Terrified, Little Red ran to the door, but just as the wolf lunged towards her, a brave woodsman burst into the cottage. He had heard the commotion and hurried to save Little Red and her grandmother. With a mighty swing of his axe, the woodsman frightened the wolf away. Little Red and her grandmother were safe. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood learned an important lesson about staying cautious and never talking to strangers. She thanked the wise woodsman for saving her and promised to be more careful in the future. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.